everybody! Welcome- Ugh, my hair. Welcome to the stream, you guys! This is gonna be a fun one! Uh, hello! Ah. So, guess what? We're gonna have a really fun day today. I randomly got a reach out. A reach around? No. I got- I randomly got reached out to to do a sponsored stream and they wanted to do it today and I was like, um, yes, because I just finished a game and I, hey, Weedinverse fan, good to see you again. Hi, everybody. And so I'm pretty excited because I was going to start a new game anyway. I know that we were going to finish Cyberpunk and finish that ending. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I might do it Friday night just so we see the ending. It looks depressing, but we might. I'm just saying that today I'd like to start fresh and start a new game and also do something that I really want to do and then play the sponsored game, which looks like a hell of a lot of fun. So anyway, that's the plan. And Johnny World Beater, thank you so much for being here and reminding me of that. Guys, I'm so sorry about last night. <laughs> I say that a lot because it's just my catchphrase. Sorry about last night. Is that a cold sore on my upper lip? No, it's my lipstick. Thank you for looking. I, uh, I'm down to the dregs of my lipstick. And so it got a little bit of chunky at the end. And so uh -uh. I don't get cold sores. Sometimes I get canker sores because of stress and they hurt, man. Um, yeah, anyway, everybody went super nasty last night and please do not show the guild RPGs to your family. That's all I got to say. So anyway, we're going to do a little Baldur's Gate. I want to do the character creation and see if, uh, I know that the game isn't read, uh, out yet. They do have the third patch out. So I don't know if that's, um, really significant changing anything, but I thought the character creation would be a nice way to start this. And then at two... We're going to switch to Birdie Crush, and I think that there might be a mode where we can play together. I'm not sure. You can download it. Uh, there's going to be a chat bot, but also there's a little panel below the video. I would not play the... I, I'm excited about playing this game. I would play it anyway. It is like an anime fantasy golf mashup. There's like a story mode, but you also could do one versus one, and then also it's just... I don't know. I'm excited. Sparhawk, we'll figure it out. We have two hours to play, so we got this going on. Mm. I got a latte. I'm in a good mood. This shirt is a little dirty. I worked out a little bit. Not really. I didn't. <laughs> Why do I lie? I didn't work out at all. Why did they even come out of my mouth? <gasps> the cover art for the new Charlie Jane Andrews books looks amazing. I know. I have a preview copy of it because I read it a couple months ago. And it's really good, you guys. I think people are going to really enjoy it. Did I miss the other ending of Cyberpunk? Well, we did. No, Cleo. We're going to do it Friday night. We almost finished that ending. It's like 20 minutes more. But I don't want to do three games today since we had I had a sponsored uh, stream come up. So we'll do it Friday night. Hey, wow, Grandma. Uh, one of the fave actresses playing the game I've been obsessed with for nearly two months. Well, Nocturna, I really excited. Epleb went to the dentist today. Boy, oh boy. Are you happy Tampa won the Super Bowl? I didn't even know they were playing. I'm not, I'm, I don't, so I've been somebody to crap upon sports games a lot in the past, but I'm going to stop doing that because I don't, I don't like it when people yuck my yum. So I'm not going to do that. I just have no interest. Okay. Uh, football is the least interesting. My grandpa was really into it and on the weekends, I would kind of watch him watch football, but it was never interesting. I kind of like watching basketball. And I'm at 202 hours in Cyberpunk. It's still not finished the main story. I don't know how many hours I did. I think it was like 75. I didn't look. I really need to get my roots done because I went way lighter and brighter, you guys. And it's really obvious to me that I need. But they just lifted the COVID restrictions here. And I just... I don't know if I feel comfortable. I went to the mall yesterday and people are just kind of cruising around like there was nothing wrong. And I'm like, not really. Does yum include a bunch of people in the same place during the pandemic? I mean, I will say that, hey, Sage Advice, thanks for the sub. I will say that I don't think putting 25,000 people in a stadium was a good idea. I mean, a third of them were vaccinated, which is like, okay. Why are the other two thirds there? <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, 
Uh, Riga D is here. Thank you for being here. You're awesome. Terry Smith, thank you for the cheers. Your Undressing Bridgerton podcast saved my life last week. Oh, Meninia, thank you. We love doing it. If you guys like Bridgerton or just like hearing me talk a lot, me and Tom, we have the best time together. And I love doing that podcast so much. We're going to move to other we're going to move to other games. I mean, uh, TV shows that have corsets. Always corset. It has to be corset adjacent or corset, you know, right there. Mm. I know. And Wheaton has COVID. You guys send her a little uh, tweet because she had to go. It looks like she's having a lot of health issues because of COVID. I'm really, I need, I forgot to text her because I just saw it just a minute ago. Why do I have hair on my shoulder? Is it because I haven't uh, changed my shirt in a couple days? What is this fuzz? It's not dandruff, I promise. I just washed my hair. Not because, well, why am I shedding? You guys aren't looking at this, are you? Well, now that I'm paying attention to, to it, it was 7,500 vaccinated health workers get to care for 13,000 unvaccinated fans. I know. I have read the Duke book, but I've not watched the TV show. Miss Winchester, it's really good. And we're going to read the book. After we finish all the episodes, we're going to read the book and compare what changed. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I know, Dark Sting. It's really bad. I, uh, You know, I'm pretty convinced I had it last year in March. Um, me and, uh, yeah, I got something that was just so debilitating. I don't, I've never been so tired in my life and it took months to get over. Oh, Brigadie's getting her. Oh, okay. They're giving their vaccine. Yay. Uh, stop worrying. We don't care. It's not dandruff. Although I do have problems with dandruff sometimes, you guys, and it's a cyclical thing with my hormonal cycle, TMI, but it actually, I could tell like, oh, four days before, I'm going to get some dandruff and it's just totally hormonal. So they say that you need to like crush seeds in a mortar and pestle to like reduce your fluctuations in hormonal, but I'm like, I don't want to crush seeds. I'm not a witch, am I? <laughs> I, have got, I should do Jane Austen. For sure. I mean, we want to do all the Pride and Prejudice uh, and Sanditon and Emma. We haven't, I haven't watched the new Emma movie, which I've been winning. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Mm. You got your second vaccination. It was rough. Oh, chest kiss tea. I'm sorry. I heard the second one is really bad. My dad got his. He's a medical provider. And the first one, he was totally like, meh. Second one, he was knocked out for a couple of days. It was just took a couple of days, but... I mean, that's the reason why it works, though, and it really is provoking your immune system. Does the crushing itself release some kind of anger hormones? You know, maybe that's it. You use a mortar and pestle, you crush some sesame seeds, and you get your rage out. Love that. Uh, Emma Stone's biopic would be great for you. Emma Stone? You mean the actress? She's younger and cuter than me, but okay. <laughs> I love Emma Stone. I think she's like my... She and Karen Gillum, I think I, Karen Gillum is my big, you know, like I want, I would want her career more than anybody's career because she does so many fun roles. All right, guys. You could play your grandma. Yeah, I could. In, in Hollywood terms, I, I'm probably like five years older than her, so I could totally be her grandma. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, thank you, Terry Smith. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, so we're going to do a little, we're just going to do character creation at two o'clock. I'm going to switch over. So well, I don't know. This could be fun. This could be fun. It could, we could be leaving want, wanting more. And that's a good thing too. I need to make sure this phone gets charged all the way. So it looks charged all the way. How can you tell? You could never tell. Uh, my friend Robin Thorson is... I get, okay, so, oh, oh, before a start, my friend Robin Thorson, she, um, so my friend Ryko had an old computer that somebody had given me from a convention. It was just, you know, they gave me, and it sat in his, and I gave it to him, and it sat in his closet for like a year and a half, and when he tried to stream on it, it broke. So he bought a new one, but then a friend of his, Phil, wanted to, just the challenge of fixing it up, and it turned out it really wasn't that big a deal. There were some wires loose, and then something else happened. So anyway, he fixed the computer and we uh, gave it to Robin Thorson and I just sent her a mic. I thought I was going to give her a mic, but my other mic is broken. So I just bought her a mic as a friend. And does that mean we'll get more options for Guild Game Night? I'm hoping, Chimera. I'm hoping. 
So we'll see. I mean, Among Us still is so fun. I know you guys. But it brings in a lot of people who might not know about us. Also, it's just fun. I love it. Even though Jeff Lewis hates it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we could do. DD Dice, thank you so much for the subs. I appreciate it. So, Praetor Solaris, thank you. I'm really excited. Darth Gimpy's here. I'm pre-ordering Felicia sweaty t-shirt on eBay. What? Come on. Tell me Robin is going to start streaming like Jeffy Lou. We're trying. Now, she's probably not going to play games, you guys. She's probably going to cook or just chat and drink alcohol. <laughs> is that against the terms of service? I think it's just too excess, right? Do a little cocktail mixing. Hey, Martin. I know. I'm addicted to watching us. I love playing Among Us. So I guess next weekend we will definitely play Among Us. And then the weekend after that, we're going to finish our uh, Ivan arc. And then we'll be back. And then we'll do Among Us, I think. Oh, wait. How many weekends is in February? I think actually that'll be the last one in February. No, no. The 28th is a... Uh, okay. So we'll do... Instead of doing RPG the last uh, Sunday of the month, we'll just do Among Us. And then March we'll be back to the Among Us, Among Us, Among Us RPG. All right. I'm really tired. I guess I could just do chat. Just chatting all day, couldn't I? Hard liquor knitting. She was on Jeff's set. She played games like Left 4 Dead. She did. I remember um, Robin doing that. I could see her and Amy playing like a Nintendo game. Although she, then she did a Switch so that she'd have to hook it up. Any update for your merch? Cup of Earl Grey. I'm working on it. I don't know what to make. And I need you guys' help about what you'd want. Do you like this Felicitations banner I have? I mean, it looks really good. Like, look, it's pretty. But then it's like, I don't know. I was thinking of like um doing i'm on fire i don't know <sighs> i'm addicted to nerd gumbo i need a list of everybody on the stream i know i need to do a stream team guys somebody uh it was ammunition who posted on twitter that streaming is breaking her concentration and i totally see that because but there's just so many little things to do all day and i have a list this long it's like oh you got to update this and you got to do this and i had to try a new mic and then i had to send robin a mic and then i had to do that. I don't, there's no dandruff here, okay? PMS dandruff is not a thing right now. I'm totally not in that cycle, part of my cycle right now. So, felicitation bookmarks would be good. Squirrel book. I don't know what that means. What's a squirrel book? Is the merch for charity or paying the bills? Well, we're not so I usually give a percentage to charity when I do, like the guild merch, a percentage goes to No Kid Hungry, anything you buy there. So, I don't know. Bring back the flog. I would like that, but um, there's, I don't know where we put it. I don't know how I'd pay for it. YouTube videos don't make any money, guys, like zero dollars. Spiffy Tiffy, thank you for liking Undrecking B Interesting Bizzerton. I just love everybody on Nerd Gumbo Street. Like, everybody's cool. I, I raided somebody last night, and it's nice to have small streamers on there. I uh, see I got into the fancy streamer and then I felt so alone that I was like okay I'm meeting a couple cool people but I already have a lot of friends I like to play with why don't I create and then Vince Casso has done all the work on the nerd Gumbo server so mm -hmm. he's done everything so I have to give him a big old shout out because he is the bay you know he's a lot he's he's grown up you guys and his hair is still terrible. But one day he's going to get that undercut. And believe me, we're all going to be like, ooh, ha, right? <laughs> hey, Soul Hunter. Co-optitude could use... I know, true nostalgia. The, pro the problem is co-optitude. Maybe I should just do a just chatting once a week, you guys. We could do a, about an hour at least. Um, I know, Adam Catino has grown on Nerd Gumbo. And it's so cool watching streamers get bigger. I think he, he used to stream with Sandeep. And then I guess he's on his own now. I don't know. He is brilliant. I love, he's so wacky. He's definitely our um, type of person. What was I saying? Um, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, Ryan, my brother. He lives in Austin time and he has a job that requires him to get up for Pacific time. So basically he has to get up two hours early. So he always goes to bed early. And so I can't stream until 7 p.m. Early, at earliest my time. So it's really hard for us to coordinate our schedules and be able to stream together. I'm hoping that maybe he could stream Among Us once with us because at least he could stay up one Sunday for fun. I tried to get him to play Rust. 
And he's like, oh, I don't know. But thankfully, a lot of our mods, Leangelis, he keeps mentioning, is pressuring him. So, I like your hair. Thank you, Shea Butter. Have I ever played Elite Dangerous? No, I have not. Um, do you ever think you'll do something like Geek and Sundry again? Todd Bjorn, I loved it. I don't think I could do it again. <laughs> Namely because I don't have enough fans to launch another channel like that. I think, you know, we had the privilege of having 2 million people on the YouTube channel. I don't know what happened to that company. It's really sad. It's gone. Um, it breaks my heart when I, I actually unsubscribed to it on YouTube because it just, I couldn't see something that I literally, I sacrificed my mental and physical health to build that company. It was so special to me. All the shows, all the people we worked with, it was too much to deal with, but it was really rewarding. And then, you know, just stuff happens and you move on and I just couldn't take it anymore. And I had a baby and would you ever start your own game company? I would be interested in doing that, but again, I don't have a lot of bandwidth. So when I had a baby, I realized, oh, I have a full-time job now. What do I do outside this? And I would like to get back into acting. And that's going to be kind of hard because of COVID and just all the logistics. Uh, I used to work in Vancouver a lot. It's so hard to fly there to work. They won't allow people out in the... So it's kind of a weird time right now. And streaming has taken up a lot of my free time, but I also want to be a writer. And so balancing writing and streaming alone is really hard. Um, Balancing writing, streaming, and kid is like super hard. I can't imagine putting anything else. And I do a lot of voiceover as well. So it's just, yeah, I didn't know Becca Scott was streaming Rust on the GNS channel. I, and then I saw it and I was like, well, it's really petty say, to say no. So, you know, I don't want to be petty. It's no skin off my back. And some of those fans are still there. And why, why punish them? I'm just sad that they're still on there. Critical Role emotionally inherited a lot. Yeah, well, the thing about everybody, the the channel over there was launched with a staff of like 10 people. We had sound stages. We had all the equipment. And even though they didn't give us a ton of money, it was still a really big startup cost. And we had 2 million people on YouTube to drive to the channel. I would be starting from scratch and I love my community, but no business person would look at my numbers and be like, oh yeah, let's start a business with them. Also, Twitch is really, you know, hinky in that you can't really grow a company on Twitch. I mean, point me out anything else. Critical Role does one thing and they do it really, really well. Geek and, Geek and Sundry did two or three shows, but nothing had the, the numbers that Critical Role did, right? They were the standout because that was the one thing the audience really responded to. So I think Twitch kind of caters to one thing and diversifying outside of that niche doesn't really pay off. And it also requires a lot of man hours and like editors and just, it's not the kind of responsibility that I really want right now. I really just want to focus on me. I would love to expand a little bit on what I do on this channel. I've tried panels. I've done a lot of other things, but um, you know, maybe just talking is something <laughs> I could do. I did some interviews and I know I've been super inconsistent and it seems like I've been jumping around a lot, guys, but I guess I'm just trying to find my own groove as well as a groove that meets the audience's groove so we could all just meet in the middle. And right now that's just playing games. And anyway, uh, Relics and Rarities was good. That was after I was there. So I think they did a really good job producing that show. I didn't really watch it, but um, anyway, so let's do it. Let's do some, um, we got... 40 minutes, and then we're going to switch to the golf game. You guys, if you want to download it, just use my download link. I mean, it, I don't need any numbers or anything, but it makes me look good. And <laughs> I need a second Felicia to do all the admin stuff. Yeah, J. Roby. That's kind of what happened with Geek and Sundry. Like, I needed two Felicias, to be, one to be on camera and do all the traveling stuff, and then another one to do all the producing that I did. And there just wasn't... And then, on top of that, I was acting a lot more, so... You know, you can't do everything uh, and do anything well. And then I started to feel like I was just kind of relying on my reputation to get me by. And I was showing up to do things, but I wasn't fully focused or prepared. And that makes me feel like I'm a, uh, you know, a, a, a kind of an imposter syndrome. And then you start looking at your numbers as the only thing that's important to other people because you feel like you're not bringing your talent. And that's really, really what started to get me. It was... Um, it was, it still is hard, you know, because num the numbers that are on your pictures and on those, those are what allow you to do content. And at the same time, if you start 
catering to that, then you're not doing the content that you love. So I'm still finding my way. And I think, you know, not a lot of people experience the success that I've had online, but over the long term, it becomes a little bit of a trap. And in order for you to grow, you kind of have to let that go a little bit. And that's what I'm in the process of doing. And I feel so much more healthy now than a year ago in that I don't feel like my self-worth is based on my past reputation or my desperate attempt to rebuild a reputation that's stronger and as famous as it was. Like, that's not as important to me and I feel so much mentally healthier, healthier because of it. So anyway, I'm so much happier. Yeah, I know. I look at pictures of myself back then and I'm just so gaunt and there's such bags under my eyes and I'm just a more authentically happy person. I don't know if that means I'm going to do great things again. I, I, I hope so. But I don't know if the state that I was living in was, uh, it was, seemed a little bit, dis it was very self-destructive mentally and physically. And I'm like, well, the only thing that really got me out of that state was having a baby and realizing, realizing that someone else relied on me and I need to be there for her. And she's more important than work. And a lot of people have a hard time, you know, letting go. And I definitely did, but. Anyway, um, he who should, should not be damned did great things. <laughs> what are some suggestions you give to new Twitch streamers? You know, I was, oh, I'm not hitting my mic. No, my mic is way over here. Somebody did go out, uh, slam the door though. Running after success. I know I, I see a lot of streamer, um, I, I follow a lot of streamers online just because it's been so nice to be a part of a community, even tangentially. And I see a lot of them talk about how hard it is to build their channels, but also how hard it is to maintain. And, you know, it's hard to be true to yourself if your numbers go down. Like watching, playing cyberpunk as long as I did, I could see my numbers go down every single week. And like, I try not to be aware of that, but I am a little bit. Um, and I'm like, well, it would be better if I just played that game eight hours a day for one week and then abandoned it. But like, a, I can't play eight hours a day. And B, that's not why I want to play a game. I just want to play it. I want to see it through the end. I might not go do all the endings, but I want to see something through and do the thing that makes me excited to show up. And even Jesse Cox today tweeted something about, like, I know people don't want to watch me play Final Fantasy XIV, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm like, yeah, you kind of have to have that in order to just be true to who you are. And, like, honestly, pleasing 500 people or 40 people is more healthy because you're be, you're creating an authentic you're you're creating an authentic core that you can build upon that's healthy versus like this hollow core that if you get success really really fast then that's all conditional those people aren't necessarily for you showing up for you as a person they're showing up for whatever it is that you suddenly did that shoots you to the stars and so you can keep chasing that but you're not going to develop loyal audience unless you kind of put a core uh, you ground yourself in authenticity. That's what I really feel like. It's a, cr a struggle with any creative job. Exactly. Because if you do if you do something that really gets successful, then you become branded by that. And then everybody knows you because of that. And, you know, on YouTube, the same thing. If you try to do something different on YouTube, people rebel, right? And then you get older and you change. And it's like, how do I change? Then your audience goes away because people, when they get older, are more distracted and they have other things to concentrate on. And so that's why... The business side only pays attention to teenagers and 20 year olds because they have the potential to grow an audience more likely, but then you can't chase that when you're older. You have to kind of accept anyway. Well, oh, thanks to Geiger. Yeah. I mean, there's always that game that you want to see where it goes. Exactly. I didn't want to quit cyberpunk. It, uh, what makes you viral doesn't give you tenacity. Exactly. So I guess my, um, I guess my advice is you have to monopolize on success, but don't let it define you long-term. But okay, I'm so wise. <laughs> Here is some Bowser's Gate. I'm excited about this game, you guys. Do you need, do you just need to work out during your show so you can wear a real clothing? Oh, no. Do you ever regret having the one-time sub versus traditional monthly subs? Um, yeah, I think, a little bit, I was not legally allowed to do kind of, it was kind of like a legal gray area for me um, to be taking real subs during the time that I was at Geek at Sundry. Also, it was like a moral area. I didn't want to be taking money from fans in two places. I felt like that was not cool. 
and I, I, and I, I know that that was sacrificing myself for a corporation that owned my company. And that probably was not good for me long term because I would probably have a lot more. I would have concentrated on it a lot more and, and taken it more seriously if it had been more of a job. But at the same time, a lot of people can't, who were with me early on, they are loyal fans. And if, you know, if they want to support me, there's tons of ways to support me other than a Twitch um, subscription. So I don't really regret it. I do regret not like, I feel like part of me always chased Hollywood success at the expense of my online success. success. So no matter what I achieved online, I was always like, well, I just want to do an act, more acting and stuff like that. And that made me neglect devoting myself to what worked in my career versus like what I've always was on the edge of being successful at. I mean, I'm sure I'll act in the future, but I'll never be, you know, a famous actor. I probably will never be a regular on a show. Maybe, maybe not, but the likelihood is much lower the older I get, right? And if I had just kind of been like, hey, you know what? This is what I love doing. This is my lane. Even though Hollywood people don't care about my numbers or what I'm doing because they don't understand gaming, this is what I should just be doing every day. And that's okay if I have a lot of fancy Hollywood friends who don't understand it and it's not really in their wheelhouse. Um, just do you. And so I guess for me, I would like, I would have wanted to shift my um, attitude a little bit there because I spent so long being desperate for Hollywood to approve of me. And yet they rejected everything that I felt like I loved about myself. And I started to take that on personally. And thank God for unplugging where I'm like, you know what? There's nothing wrong with me. I might not fit in that world, but I don't fit in the sports world either. And I don't fit in the music world either. And like those, you know, there's certain areas that we, I don't want to be on the outside looking in, outside looking in anymore. I just would like to be inside my own inside. Is that okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. I know you seem like so much in your element and happier since you've been streaming. I do. And though, although this is not necessarily my full-time job, it is my part-time job now. And I enjoy it every single minute of it. So if you guys ever have suggestions about what you'd like me to do, I'm totally open to it. Like I tried a lot of things last year, like the panels and the women are and things like that. And if there's something that you really enjoy me doing, or, you know, I'd love to do a play reading. I'd love to do uh, other things that are a little bit easier to uh, balance time-wise. So I don't know. Um, yeah, just leave it on my Discord, discord.gg slash Felicia Day. Get that in your next book. Oh, thank you. I really want to write another book. I'm I'm working on a a YA book proposal right now, or a kid. It's kind of a kid book proposal, and then I have another one that I really want to do. But it's just hard to concentrate. I don't get a lot done, and tomorrow I don't have D and D. It got canceled, you guys. So I have all day to write. I'm just so happy. <laughs> okay, we have 30 minutes now. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You could always self publish on Amazon. Exactly. I don't have a problem self publishing. I just got to get it done. And that's my problem right now. But, you know, that's why I'm reluctant to try to get an eight, you know, get back into Hollywood because I know they're going to give me all these things that will distract myself and I barely have time to do streaming and writing at the same time. And I'm like, if I add one other thing, I'm like, am I going to be back where I was, like doing everything at half measures and not really happy with myself? But then not being high profile like that, it's just very, it's a weird career to be in. I would not recommend it. We're going to get through the gate. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. New game. New game. Oh, I got to create a profile. New. Poopy. Activate it. Let's do it. We're doing it. What is that thing on your desk in the background? It is. It's like a... My friend Raiko gives me a lot of art funk... Uh, art statues. All right, here we go. Time to bald or gate. Okay, if you if you decide you just want to do a Q and A, we'll figure that out. We could do like an hour before I do a three hour streams or something. Just talking. Mossy, thank you so much for the gift sub. I'm very excited. Ooh, pedicure time. Uh oh. This is something. Oh, dude. That is a small-ass nose. I do not like that nose. That is like they put the bar all the way to the left. It is too small. Okay. We're seeing through somebody else's eyes. Thank you very much. 
Uh oh. Pedicure manicure, please! Greg Groundhog, thank you. Man, this spa has some really weird water. Uh oh, it's the one where they eat the skin off your feet. I would love one of those right now, you guys. Okay, what is this? Oh no. Is that virtual sperm? Ew! Ew, don't put it up her nose, please! Her nostril isn't big enough! Please! Oh, gross! Oh! No! 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 Oh no. Oh no, here it comes. Is this me? Don't put it in my eyeball! I- I want- He really needs to trim his nails if this is what his- Or she- they? Is the eye better than the nose? Oh what? What? What happened there? Was I the person with the eyeball? That's how LASIK works. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, origin tab. Oh, this is so exciting. Thank you, Merrix. Okay, listen. We need to be. No, no. Oh, that's kind of hot, dude. Though, look at that. Army Hammer call! They want their elf back! Okay, well clearly I need to be poopy. <laughs> hey, Lilypad Beauty. Eight hour character creation stream. We have 30 minutes, you guys. Less. I'm going to be playing Birdie Crush at two. It is a sponsored stream. Okay, listen. How do I change everything? Okay, so race. Let's do... Hi, elf. Okay, let's what they look like. Tiefling. Oh my god, this is great. This is D&D. &D. Okay, tiefling. Cool. I'm not really a tree... Oh, drow. I might have to do a drow, you guys. The gods have deafened me. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. This, straight this game is straight up D&D &D 5e. I love it. Um, human? No, no, absolutely not. No! Absolutely not! Grow a nose! Astral plane? <sighs> Morgan Freeman called and she wanted her nose back. That is an 80s reference. Look her up. Who's the actor with the smallest nose, you guys? Let me see. Smallest nose. Okay. Smallest nose. Images. Celebrity. It's... There are a couple of celebrities who've gotten, like, n they really have no nose. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's... Angelina Jolie's nose has gotten progressively smaller. Um, Morgan... It's not Morgan Freeman, it's Morgan Fairchild. <laughs> <laughs> it's Morgan Fairchild! Okay, she has the smallest nose, I think, of any celebrity, right? 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 Look at her nose, you guys. Look up Morgan. <laughs> yes, Peter Dinklage has a tiny nose. Yes, Voldemort has a tiny nose. Look up Morgan Fairchild, y'all. She has a really tiny nose. There is no way I could play this character. Aaron Gray has a lovely nut. Carabonx, thank you. <laughs> Chandler's mom, exactly. Thank you. Okay. Dwarf? No. No way. I don't play dwarves. Uh, I did him well, actually. I have a dwarf uh, priest. Natel uh, what was I saying? Sugarlina. Michael Jackson, that's true. I liked your women in interviews you did on Twitch. Yeah, Andre, there's some amazing people in that group. I, I, I would like to bring that back. I just need to figure out how to make it as professional. <laughs> I'm going to be doing um, a stream... Um, guys, I actually have a book that I'm narrating called Rule of Cool. It's a lit RPG book on Audible. It's the first non-my book I've narrated. I'm so excited for it. Lit RPG is a really interesting um, subgenre of books that I didn't even know about until they offered me the job, and now I'm really obsessed with it. So I'll be doing a panel on that on Monday the 1st of March. But Rule of Cool comes out the week before, so you can pre-order an Audible right now. 
Okay, half elf. Usually I'm a half elf because I'm a commitment phobe. But I don't know. Oh, we can do sub races? Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. I like that. Ooh. Okay, so that's really pretty. The Mesosopheles tiefling. I have Prime Book available. Yeah, you can pre-order right now. Just look up Rule of Cool. It's an RPG audiobook. R RPG Lit, it's a book that has RPG stuff written in it. I'm gonna be doing a panel on um, with some of the biggest authors in, in the field, so I would love for you guys to check it out. I love this, but let's look at all the... Okay, Halfling? No, I really don't like Halflings. Lightfoot or Strongheart? Stupid, I hate it. The Drow, I really do love Drow. The Seldarine Drow. And the Lost Sworn. Okay, so we got two here. Red Eyes. But this one... Amy to settle their conflict. I mean, I don't know. Let's look at the Elves. High Elf. I never liked the High Elf. I love the Wood Elves. Ugh. What's with this... What's with the green skin? I'm gonna pass on that one. Although this looks like, um... Rach Rochelle Lefebvre Fevry from Twilight, doesn't she? I'd go with the tiefling. Yeah, I'm high elf or wood elf. Human, Githyank, God. Ooh. Gold dwarf, shield dwarf. She's badass. I like her. But, well, guys, what class are we gonna be? No, I don't like this half wood elf thing. No. You can be half drow? I don't think you can be, right? Can you be half drow? So the high elf is going to be. I don't think I want this. I don't want to be a. Um, all I, I want to be maybe a magician. A sorcerer, right? I really like this. I like this chick. Oh, thanks, Loken. One audible credit used. I enjoyed your biography. Yeah, I'm really excited about. I mean... So, the elves have dexterity. So, that would be good for a ranger, clearly. The tieflings have intelligence and charisma, which would be a great sorcerer. I'm kind of feeling this right here. Um, same... Say, it looks like they have the same race features and sub-race features. I'm kind of into it. I'm into this tiefling thing. Now, what's the deal with halflings? They're good thieves. Half elves. Meh. Oh, I can actually imp I don't like the half elf thing. That would be old Felicia. New Felicia is all about intelligence and strength. What are these guys good for? Not that I care, but. I think I'm going to be a tiefling, y'all. I have to do it. Aren't halflings just skinny dwarves? Thank you, Sim Paradox. Um, it's cozy. We're gonna play golf for two hours, you guys, after we finish this character. Okay, we're gonna do tiefling, and we're gonna do the Mesosophilus tiefling, okay? And then we're going to be... Hells, something just woke up down here. Oh, a tidy slot, but no room. The stone's less worn here. Recent... Hells, something just woke up down here. Uh-oh. A tidy slot, but no rune. Hmm. The stone's less worn here. Hells, something just woke up down here. Huh. I don't know about this one. I don't know about that. A tidy slot, but no. Does it really fit her body, right? <laughs> the stone's less worn here. We oh, okay. Hells. I A like tidy this one. slot, but no rune. Four. Yeah, Marlea agreed. Okay, so let's get in here. I th I'm so pretty! This is incredible, you guys. This is everything I wanted Dragon Age to be. Ooh. Uh, two. No. No. I like her freckles. She's got that dip in her lip that's kind of nice. I'm kind of thinking two. I mean... We could change. This game seems great. I know. Look at this. 
We are going to play golf at two, you guys, all right? We're playing playing phone golf, and I'm very excited about it. Alrighty, two. I kind of like two as well. Horn style. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait! We can really pick a... Okay, so they have four head styles and 15 horn style? No, I don't like that. That just looks like somebody... Spit up. Do a spitball. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that one's nice, too. Ooh, squirrels. No, she's not a satyr. Nope, I don't like the short stubs. Uh, no, don't like it. Seven? How is that one different from the twirlies? This game is horny as hell. It's true. No, I don't like it. No. No. Who wants that? I don't like the curl back. 15 inch horns. I don't like this one. This one means if, if you're making out with anybody, they're going to have to dodge it. I don't, I don't like that one. This one I don't like either. I liked one of those first ones that curl. This one I don't like it. Nope. Don't like it. I like... I like I like the, the big statement piece right here. That's not bad. This one might be my favorite too. Oh, no, no, no. This one. Right? The twirls? I love the twirls, guys. I love this twirl thing. That That's it, man. It looks a little bit like floral. Twirl it. Three is good. I like it. Okay, we're good here. Now, skin color. Now, I kind of want to stick with this sort of cool tone. We could really go blue here. Oops. Um, guys, I'll be right back. I have to go help my baby with their Zoom. One second. Sorry! Sorry, sorry, sorry. We had a preschool Zoom situation. I had to do my tech support. Hello. Wait, Felicia has a baby? Well, not really a baby now. Okay, so I kind of like this situation. I do like this purple skin situation. I'm usually not into that. But I do like this blue. We should just go blue, right? Didn't we go blue enough last night? Price must flow. You, man. You know what's happening. It was not my fault. Whoa, what just happened? Gross. 
How come everything got bloodshot? I look really gross now. Why did my eyes get bloodshot? Okay, this is very weird. It doesn't look like any of the colors associate with... I love that violet, right? I don't like this. Demon white, demon two, demon three, or demon... F demon black. That is... That's kind of cool, actually, right? I kind of like that. I like this violet, you guys. Should I do violet or with white? Which one of these looks better? I kind of like that. This is cool. The guild is leaving Netflix, yes. They decided not to... Um, their licensing strategy has changed, and they're not going to relicense it, but I will be uh, just making it free on YouTube again, you guys. I don't really have a lot of choices about licensing it to other places, so uh, it's an old show, and the question is, do I upload the whole seasons without any breaks, or do I just let everybody watch the individual episodes there? Um, I think I'm going to have to keep... I just want to incentivize people to wa uh, buy the DVDs, because that's the only way now we can make money on the show, because YouTube is like $5 a month, so... Um, so anyway, that's it. Okay, I'm really happy with this look. You know what? No, I like this look. I like the white. I love the guild. Aw, oh, Bibaza, thank you so much. Yeah, it's still on Netflix as whole movies, but you could always get the DVDs and it'll play as whole movies and it has lots of extras. And then I'll just make it live on YouTube again so people around the world can watch it, which, you know, was kind of a drag before anyway. You get the DVD, you could get it on Amazon, I think, through Cinedime. Okay, here we go. Oh! <gasps> Oh, this is pretty. I like this. I'm not really an up to kind of gal, but I do like this. We let's see how she looks with red hair. Oh no, is this not good, huh? We're gonna have to change our our skin color. This is. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this is cool. That looks like the haircut of a grandmother. A hot grandma. If your grandma looks like this, I'd do your grandma, okay? Excuse my language. Do we do pink? Ooh, that's pretty too. I love this. A gilf, yeah. I do like this purple situation. I think we should go all purple all the time, don't you? You like the pink? Look at this, guys. Look at this fuchsia. I love this. This is gorgeous. I like the purple more than pink, but now this is, this is slamming. This is a gilf I like. <laughs> oh boy. A tilf. Fuchsia for the win. That's the color. Can you do pale purple? Yeah, we could try pale purple. I do like what I just picked. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. <laughs> That's the color my daughter wants everything to be, and I hate it. I mean, I love her, but... I do like this color the best. It does look good. Okay, we're good here. God, I gotta hurry. We're not gonna finish this. Um, okay, so we're gonna do... Let's see. We did that. We did the head. What about... What about facial hair? They have a thicker beard. I bet the guys are super hot in this. You know, the Van Dyke is really... I think we gotta keep it. I gotta keep it. Oh, no. Chops. Oh, no. No chops. No chops. No chops. What happened to hot grandma? I don't think we want a beard. There are a lot of facial hair options here, though. Look at this. I love this one. There's a little hot little stash here. No. Do not like that look. <sighs> Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Why don't you cry no more? Okay, this one, I don't actually have a problem with this one. Should we do a, a sexy dude and have a thirst stream? 
No, I gotta be myself. I'll give you it. Okay, I have to say 11. Now I don't like her without a facial hair. I don't like her. This is it, right? We gotta keep this. Oh, we gotta match. The curtains have to match the drapes, you guys. That's the. Ch that's the. We gotta do this. Whiskey beard really won fear. I, I have a feeling that um, you have a weird audio issue when you hit high notes. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. I had some weird sting. I tried to hook up my hype mic, and it would totally blew out, and it will not work. And I just I, I contacted tech support because I was like, this is an expensive mic. The Guild full series DVD, and you can't find it. That's very weird. Okay, I'll look it up. Okay, this is my favorite thing ever, and I'm going to stick with it, okay? Ooh, I I liked what we had, but let's check out the other options. No, Squid Eyes is not... Let me look. I don't like Squid Eyes. Squid Eyes is creeping me out. This is what I would have in real life. That's way too subtle. We don't do facial tattoos. Tattoo 16. This is so comprehensive, you guys. What does that say? Jesus? Jesuit? Best? I don't like it. Tattoo 14. Oh, we got a neck tattoo. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Dragon Ace is also available on DVD. I don't... I thought that the DVD was still available. It's very strange to me. OB, Streamlabs OBS list update. I'm on XSplit. I use XSplit. I chose the rose neck. Okay, I like 13. I don't know what this one is. Oh, it's just a subtle ear. No, we're not going subtle. No. No. Just a half. A half. Si oh, that's. No. Too aggro. No. Too much. No. Four. Okay, so it's between four. It's between 4 and 13, you guys. I kind of like this one. Let's see what it looks like without the facial hair. Should I have facial hair? I kind of miss the Van Dyke, you guys. I miss it. I think we got to go with this. There's an intensity slider. Oh. Oh, okay, interesting. And we can even make it more red. Ooh, no. Ah! That's very odd. Jungle green. Dark purple. We gotta go dark purple. Her face looks naked without a beard. I know, guys. We're really... Okay, I like this. This is good. 13, no beard. You guys are saying no beard? More beard and no beard. I'm kind of loving this beard. People are saying no facial hair. You guys, make a poll. Make a poll and we'll vote on the facial beard. Long beard? Somebody make a poll, please. Make a poll, beard, no beard. Hold it up. I know we're not going to see it anyway. It's that classic, let's spend all the time. Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, we were on five. I really like the smoky eye on me. It's a tiefling kind of... That is awful. What? Just like a dot under there? What kind of makeup is that? Smoky eye? I love it. No. Um, that's a nice one. Eleven is like a high smoky eye. No. Facial hair. Vote for it. Vote for it. Poll is at the top of the chart, y'all. Um, that is a lot of makeup right here. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's too much. I like the lemon. I, th I think it's nice to smoky eye, but it's not too much. Look at that. Okay, too subtle, too subtle. Too subtle, too subtle, too subtle. Oh, that looks pretty good. Now, what's the difference? You know what? The problem here, there's no blending going on. You gotta blend, man. You gotta blend. You gotta blend it out. I mean, this is... Nine is kind of nice. I still like 11. There's a lot of character close-up scenes, so the beard will be funny. 
I how can people nope this? It is a big There's a lot of discre discrepancy between people who wow. There's a recount. People are rebelling against that beard, y'all. You're rebelling against the beard. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a little shocked. Ooh. Oh, we got four minutes to play. Okay, I like the black. I really like... Let's see. That's not good at all. I really feel like black was it. All right, listen. Stop the beard steal. <laughs> the poles are rigged. Guys, I gotta go with the beard. <sighs> she owns the beard. Okay, everybody's saying nope. I gotta go with the poll. I allowed the poll to influence what we're doing. I said that I would let the poll choose. Recount. No, we gotta, we're a democracy. And that's a sizable. That's a sizable one. The sizable difference. All right. Okay. Wow, it doesn't look good. You guys don't want that to happen? You... <sighs> I'm... I'm doing beard. She looks so good. I gotta do a beard. I'm, we're doing the beard. Stage a coup. <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of people in chat right now, and you guys are not voting. Only 200 people voted. Only 200 people voted. It's a good beard. I'm doing the beard. I'm doing the beard. I'm ignoring all of you. All right, listen, we gotta do class, and then we gotta, we gotta, we have two minutes. We gotta, we gotta create this character. Gotta create this character. I wanna be a warlock, it's clear. Even though I don't like that outfit. I love this rogue outfit much better. I love that cleric. Uh, wizard or warlock? Warlock is better for a tiefling, right? Um, okay, warlock, cantrips, I have Eldritch Blast, Minor Illusion. I've never played the uh, warlock in D&D, so. Spectral Frost covers me. Targets take a necrotic damage. This looks fun. I don't even think I have to worry about this. Tiefling is all about the warlock. I'm sorry, guys. Are you really upset? You're really upset, aren't you? Skill with proficiency. Arcana and intimidation? I don't know about intimidation. Do I need intimidation? Maybe deception. Let's trade. I would rather do deception than... and I would rather do deception. And deception is a charisma too, so. Religion, totally fine. No, no, I want deception. Okay, so I have religion, arcana, and deception, okay. And then skills without proficiency. Well, that's fine. I have a proficiency bonus of plus two, which is good if I'm skilled in it. I like these. She's not sorry, I'm not sorry about it. And then assign ability points. Okay, how many do I have? Oh, wow, okay. So how many? Mm. Oh, this is already spent. So I could take one out of dexterity. I think this is a good spread here. That's pretty much what I would have done. I might have done a little bit more strength, but I'm always stupid about that. Okay. I guess this is it, y'all. Who do you dream of at night? Wait, 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 wait. What just happened? Wait, 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 wait. What just happened to my person? Who was that? Okay. You have... <laughs> well, we're not doing any more Baldur's Gate. We are playing. We are venturing forth. Okay, I'm so happy. Wait, Acolyte, you have spent your life in service to a temple? No. You're an expert in manipulation. Yes! Deception, persistency, criminal, entertainer, no. Acrobatics, animal handling, no. Insight, persuasion, history, persuasion. I think I want, I want whatever that was that, um, charlatan, right? She looks like a charlatan with that Van Dyke. Okay, so then I need to look at the skills again. So I have arcana, deception, and... No, I don't want intimidation. I do want 
skills without proficiency. I want... I'd rather have religion or... I'd rather have investigation. That's pretty good. Because we have deception, arcana, and investigation. I like that better. Looks a little bit... Sh yeah, she's a hot Shakespeare. Okay, we got a venture force so I could save it. Who do you dream of? Oh, okay. Well, we'll just have... To, um, I dream of getting it on with a drow, for sure. I, I kind of want to... Ho, ho! Hello! Hello! The stone's less worn here. Oh, Most yeah. A tidy slot, but no room. The stone's... Hells. Something just woke up. I don't know, guys. This is it. I'm picking my love interest. I don't even... I don't need to change this. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is it. This is it. I don't want to change anything. I like the... I like everything about this guy. This is hotness. Although... Okay, there. We, I don't want him to... This... We can only make it blonder. Oh, yeah! White? Oh, yeah. Bleach tips, kind of? No, I liked, I liked the ash blonde going here. Oh, wow. Now, wait a minute. You want me to see... Ah! No! Give me back my... Where'd my hot drill go? No! No! You took him away! Oh, thank God. All right, thank God, that was horrible. I want him to have blonder hair. There we go. Sorry, guys, I'm sorry. We need to have some tattoos on this guy. Okay, we're about to switch over. Whoa, no, no. I do like a little tattoo action on him. Oh yeah, that's hot, that's hot. Makeup? Ooh, yeah, smoky eye? This is, this is it, y'all. All right, we're good. Okay, we're about to switch over, but I'm so excited about this game, you guys. Femboy for masculine chick. I don't, I didn't even think about it, but I'm really like, I like everything that's happening. I just need to save it, and then we're gonna switch over to the golf game. Where's my phone? Let me go get my phone. Where did my phone go? What did I do with my phone? Where's my phone? Ag. I'll be right back. I gotta find my phone. Okay, so there's a lot of tentacles. Tentacles there, tentacles here, tentacles... What the heck?
Her nose is growing a little bit. This is incredible, you guys. This looks incredible. This is like Game of Thrones, you guys. <laughs> Wow. I mean, these graphics are astounding. I really hate that nose, but okay. It's cool. I'm not going to judge her whole rate. Whoa, she's got assless chaps, y'all. I'm trying to turn off my... Messages. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. What? All right. Now I'm going. Oh my god, look at this Van Dyke. Look at this. We got to save it. New save. My head. This is so cool. Okay, clearly I want to play. Okay, so we're going to be playing on Friday night, you guys. Unfortunately. And look at this. Wow, the graphics are so incredible. And if I walk in the fire, you guys, I think I set, get set on fire. <laughs> Ow, I'm on fire! Okay. Um, we're going to... Uh, we ha we're going to switch to... The sponsored stream, you guys, right now. I appreciate you, but I'm going to switch to... But we'll play that Friday night. So Friday night, we'll play just the end of the um, Cyberpunk if I decide to do it. And if not, we're just going to leave that game behind until DLC. And then we're going to play this, okay? Because I'm very excited. Friday, 7 p.m. All right, Lakebo. Okay, 